my question is manoj ji uh, this reframing process works very very fine for me very well for me but uh, is it the ultimate solution because it is just that our mind is reframing the mm. si- situation may not be changing or the people may not be changing so what about the situation where you know uh, things remain the same we are just apne aap ko mana rahe hain ki bhai theek hai sab okay hai wagera <laughs> you know what about the change which is, which should happen on the other side or the outer world or the third person means the second person so you know we all have heard about the law of attraction yes navisha okay so law of attraction says you know whatever you think you will get i mean typically the understanding of law of attraction is you think and you will get it you know if it was so then we are thinking 5 million things and why are we not getting and out of 5 million most of the things we think is not what we want all negative is so called negative things you know the principle of the principle the law of attraction what people understand when they typically hear is jo bhoenge wo payenge yes bhoenge but what do you mean by bhoenge bhai it is the law of attraction is equal to the law of resonance or the law of so you don't attract what you want please get the statement you don't attract what you want you attract what you are no what you are what you are means what what vibration you are living in or what frequency you are in or what is that's why that thought when we get a thought it creates a feeling the feeling creates a thought so you attract actually your vibration here so what you are feeling gives you the th- thought gives you a feeling whatever you are vibrating that's what you will attract over a period of time when you continuously and consistently be with that frequency your frequency let's say you are feeling bad so you will attract what is not so nice for you because you are feeling bad what to do tatastu he is saying tatastu okay but then when you are feeling good then you will attract what is wonderful for you because you are feeling good so again coming back to segment and learning thank you for things which happened my way you feel it first of all you when things happen your way we don't even say thank you you wanted something you got it we don't even say thank you so we saying hey baba remember to say thank you so by our thank you if you feel nice you feel better if you feel better you feel good if you feel good you can feel fantastic if you feel fantastic you feel awesome if you feel awesome you it goes on increasing that way you know and if you feel bad just say someone irritated you and you don't catch that moment irritation you go into disturbance you don't catch it you go into frustration you don't catch it you go into anger you don't catch it you go into revenge so the same tatastu is happening by god but are you increasing your frequency upwards or are you decreasing your frequency downwards choice is yours so we told you put one and a half hour alarm and at least put your hand here and say thank you to what your happened your way beautiful what did not happen your way i got irritated by that person he did not do this thing my wife did not listen this one that my children are not listening thank you then thank you why because you are neutralizing it that thank you word instead of dropping you down it neutralizes you coming back to your question your question is saying it seems like the mind is doing it yes initially there's a statement which says fake it till you make it i don't use that statement i say consciously create what you want again and again and again and again and again till it goes into your subconscious mind till it has starts happening automatically so initially it is a conscious effort and later on it becomes a non doing process and then it becomes a part of your being so i tell everyone start with minimum this at least start with minimum send the sms start with minimum send the voice mail of 1 minute start with minimum all these things and the maximum will start happening maximum you have the goal guru ji's famous quote i and i'm going to quote it almost every now think big start small that means have the vision of reaching the stars but at least take the first step today na and put the alarm at least do this at least send your message to the sevak at least send your voice mail to the sevak at least at least at least so i will always talk about at least and have the goal 
what your dreams are dream big start small that's guruji is quoted okay that way uh, thank think you so big, much start small so i think don't that's why i'm saying i have done 30 plus years of this uh, work and i am only contemplating every moment that how to make it more simple where even children of 5 years 6 years do it in our school 5 years 4 years children they do all this so why we are 50 years so i i agree that you may not agree to me or you may not believe me that i agree i i appreciate if you don't believe me i don't expect you to believe me but i expect ki i trust my 30 years plus do it for 30 days no that's all blindly without using the head one hour give yourself it is vishal time that's it period one hour i don't compromise that will start giving you okay you don't have one hour then 5 minutes you don't have 5 minutes one minute you don't have one minute one second but don't leave that one second <laughs> it's like that so the success culture is all about consistency and focusing on what you want and uh, not giving energy to what you don't want Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you.